Hello, my name is June Bowman. I completed the 12 week course um, with Code Louisville and we followed the Treehouse curriculum. We were given the task of creating a website for um, something that we are passionate about or really like. So I chose a local artist who is a junior at U of L and she is looking to promote her portfolio online and she's also looking to pick up some commissions and she's looking to sell some of her artwork. So I created a website for her so she could get all of those um, done with the website. So let's see what I came up with. Okay, so this is ToriBowman.com. I used HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, PHP, and a foundation framework to create this website. And this is the home page. Since the audience of this website will mainly be people interested in art, I use pieces of art for the navigation buttons. To add unique and interesting features to the navigation section, I use CSS and JavaScript. Using CSS, I have the selected pages picture blurred out. I also coded it so it's not a link. However, when you hover over the picture, the blur effect will disappear and you can see the graphic clearly. For the other pages buttons, I use a bit of JavaScript to make the picture the mouse hovers over um, fade. This also um, will be a link to the subsequent pages. And then um, down here, the um, footer is a basic footer and present on all pages. And then let's go over to the about page. Um, the about page is fairly standard with a short description of the artist and a picture. And then on the gallery page, um, the gallery page has quite a few unique features. To view samples of artwork, you can either view a slideshow, um, video, or look at the artwork as individual images. The slideshow opens in a modal window. The video player was customized using media elements. As you can see, the um, status bar matches the color scheme of the website. You can also close the middle modal window with a click. The images um, modal window opens and allows the visitor to either scroll through the images or click an individual image to see the image full size. From the full size image, you can either close it out or um, you can return um, to the image list. So let's go over to the shop page. Um, this page has buy it now buttons from PayPal. Clicking on the images opens them in a new tab and then you can close that out and that's pretty straightforward there. On the commission page, there's information text with a few links to email, the contact page, and an outside website that the artist subscribes to. It's pretty much just basic text. So we'll go to the contact page. Um, on the contact page, both the envelope and button open the contact form in a modal window. The contact form um, has submits um, a submit button and um, uses PHP to send an email to both the visitor and the artist. Um, the form has error checking features and requires all fields have data before allowing submission. You can close the form um, with a click. Now let's go look at the code. Okay, here is the, um, let's go to the header page. On the, for each, on each page I've used PHP to include a header page. Um, so that if you ever change it, it, I just had to change it one place and it'll populate each page. Um, the variables for the title um, is included on each page and called here. And since the links to the CSS and other files will change depending on whether the page is the home index page or sub index page, I've included this if statement to make sure the link address is correct. Um, then there's the header, the header title and subtitle are included on each page's variables. And we'll move over to the navigation um, included page. The navigation section is also included using PHP on each page. The navigation page uses a combination of PHP and foundation. The PHP will make sure the right page is put in the class selected and the foundation will format each element so it's responsive and shown or hidden while viewed using different size screens. The code at the top takes care of large and medium screen sizes and the code towards the bottom um, takes care of smaller screen sizes and then for the smaller screen size the actual graphic um, cha will change and the navigation um, will be stacked instead of horizontal. So we'll move over to the footer. Um, the footer is included using PHP on each page. The footer includes most of the JavaScript scripts I included. Again I use PHP to determine which page is loaded so the path for the linked file is correct um, you know according to which page is loaded. So here is the CSS. Um, 
pretty basic styling code. I did include a few breaking points um, here in addition to the foundation breaking points. I changed several font sizes, padding and margins depending on the screen size. I used a break of 768 and 500 pixels. So we'll move over to the JavaScript. Um, for the JavaScript, I started um, with a document ready function for a clean load. I then created an array with all the navigation elements details. The CSS ID and the name of the image that will be used a bit later are included in this array. Um, then here I got a path name of the loaded page so I could use it um, in this following bit of code to assign the variable file name, the key to the current page, and um, the pages array, which is an associative array. Um, using this key, I can get the small SMID for the pages array. I use this to set the HTML for the selected page, so the CSS ID is correct um, for the selected page, and the navigation elements will respond correctly. The following loop goes through all objects in the pages array and sets the CSS so the correct background images are used on the smaller screens. And then this last bit of script just fades a picture when the mouse hovers over it and then unfades the picture when the mouse leaves. It's for the navigation elements on the larger screens. Okay, um, finally, let's. here is just the index page. And um, this is the main index page from, you know, the home page. Um, at the top are all the PHP variables used in the header. Here are the includes for the main header navigation content. The divs are formatted using foundation for various screen sizes and um, breaking up the columns for large, medium, and smaller screen sizes. Um, with this bit of code, I changed the actual picture used on the, on the page depending on the screen size. At the bottom, here's the include for the footer code. And um, here's what it looks like going from large to medium and small on the actual, um, you know, what the visitors will actually see. And um, the home page and sub pages elements are included for larger screens but hidden on smaller screens. And then here on the gallery page, um, you can go down and some things... Um, you know, are actually hidden, but each page is completely responsive and will provide a great viewing experience no matter the screen size or device used. Um, you can see this live at T-O-R-I-B-O-W-M-A-N.com. I also have a page on GitHub at github.com backslash June B67. Thank you. Um, the, my future plans for this project are I would like to take the pictures on the shopping page and have them open in a modal window instead of a tab. And I would also like to just um, make the shopping experience a little bit smoother instead of just buying out buttons from PayPal. Maybe make a whole shopping cart and have the shopping experience be completely with inside the website. Um, my plans professionally, I have signed up for the PHP backend course, which starts in September with Code Louisville, and I will continue that. And I'm also actively looking for junior um, front-end web development um, jobs. So I'll be continuing that. And um, you can see this up at ToriBowman.com. And you can also see it on GitHub. My username is JuneB67. And again, my name is June Bowman. Thank you for watching.